Moxie mission. Oh, and look, I got my little pet. It's a Moxie. Moxie, please wake up. Hey, good afternoon. Over afternoon. here. Over here, I'm over here. There you go. Um, on this day, September 12th in 1940, teenagers in France who were looking for their dog found cave paintings that are more than 15,000 years old. Today's word of the day is prehistoric. The definition of prehistoric is relating to or existing in a time before history was written. The professor asks Selby if there are any books about prehistoric times because he wants to learn more about dinosaur fossils. Okay, we've got a big day planned, Savannah. There's a new mission today and other cool stuff. But up next, a message from someone at the GRL. Say, Moxie, let's go when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Let's get started. Ooh. Looks like Faru sent us a message. And she writes, Hi, Albi. The three words I want to pick for myself are, I love turtles. There. Get it. There's not an option. Did you like this post from Karu? Hmm. Yes. Repeat that, please. Yeah. Let's give it a like. <coughs> Let me send a quick reply. Quick? Huh. I didn't realize we could say a sentence. I never would have thought of that. Post it. Let's enjoy the story together. I have a brand new story from the GRL. Would you like to listen to the first part of Letters to Grandma. Okay. Great. Z's grandma lives very far away. For years, they've written letters back and forth. Real letters. On paper and everything. One day, Caprice was floating through the lab and saw Z bent over her desk, scribbling furiously. She was curious and floated closer. What are you working on? Asked Caprice. Whoa, said Z. Floating is very quiet, and Caprice forgot to let Z know she was there. Sorry, Z, said Caprice. I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. Z sat up and showed a letter to Caprice. I'm writing a letter to my grandmother. That sounds... Um, what's the word? Caprice asked. It's nice. Z looked at the letter. It makes me feel like I'm sitting with her. Z smiled, but she didn't look happy. She looked sad. Do you miss her? Caprice asked. I do. I haven't seen her in a long time, Z said. Do you want a hug? Caprice asked. I do, said Z. Caprice wrapped her ribbons tight around Z and squeezed. Z squeezed back. Thanks. Z glanced at a clock and her eyes got wide. Oh no, the mail will be leaving soon, she cried, and hurried to fold her letter up. The mail only went out once every couple of weeks at the GRL. I can take it to the dock, said a priest. I can float right there. Please, said Z, putting the letter in Caprice's ribbons. Hurry, and thank you. Caprice floated off as fast as she could go. The end for now. To be continued next time.
really enjoyed telling you stories. Let's do it again later.